Hi everyone. My name is Ashley Tolisma. I live in Boston, Massachusetts, born and raised. For this semester, I had the opportunity to intern at Victory Programs, a nonprofit organization that opens doors to health, housing, recovery, and hope for individuals and families facing homelessness, addiction, or other chronic illnesses like HIV and AIDS. As for everyone, being able to start an internship was both exciting and nerve wracking. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a very structured and organized person. I believe in structure, plans, and goals. Within my first couple of days at Victory Programs, that was all crushed. My mentor had quit my first week and everything turned to chaos. I felt disorganized and unprepared. The next following days, I was assigned two new mentors that were going to help me get back on track and move forward with my internship. At Victory Programs, we provide social and emotional support groups, one being called Bridges. For those who live with addiction and or diseases such as HIV and AIDS. Shadowing one of the Bridges groups, I met a lovely lady who reminded me a lot about myself. She was diagnosed with HIV at a very young age. She too was a very structured and organized person. She strived to finish school, get married and have kids. But once she found out she had HIV, she thought her life was over. Instead of forgetting about her dreams, she ended up finishing up school, getting married and having kids. Sometimes in life, things don't go as planned. We all strive to have goals and plans, but sometimes one inconvenience can take all of that away. Losing my mentor within the first week made me overwhelmed, but that didn't stop me from accomplishing my internship. I was able to take that loss of my mentor and flip it into a positive. This inconvenience only pushed me to push for a stronger outcome. I ended up getting two new mentors who supported me throughout the rest of the semester. Walking into the internship every day, I went in with an open mind. I wasn't focused on what needed to be done, but more of successfully getting it done. It made me realize that without a plan or a structure, things can still get done without notice. Her story made me reflect on life. It showed me that sometimes we need to go with the flow no matter what obstacles you face. Life is hard, but you have to push through and get the things you want in life. Not everything in life is planned, nor is it structured. You have to learn to go with the flow because sometimes going with the flow can take you on a wonderful journey that you never sought to see yourself. I wanna thank my mentors, Meg and Eve for giving me the best experience at Victory Programs. And I also want to give Semester in the City a big thank you.